This is a Sports Catastrophe Special Presentation. Hey there, hey there, hey there, it's Jeff Cutter Dummy welcoming you to another Sports Catastrophe Birthday Boy. And the birthday boy for February the 24th is a French F1 driver who actually had the record for most race wins with 51 until Michael Schumacher surpassed it in 2001. He was an active carter at age 14, and then he would join F1 in 1980 at the age of 24. He actually made his Formula 1 debut and got in the points. He would win in 1981 his first race at his home Grand Prix in France, playing for, driving for Renault. This driver was also known for his rivalry with Ayrton Senna. And it would cause controversy at the 1989 Japanese Grand Prix. He actually got canned by Ferrari in 91, took sabbatical in 92, and then went, came back in 93 with a competitive car and won the 93 championship and retired from F1 after that, which was funny and all that. He actually took home over an F1 team. Before bankrupt in 2002, he would he would do ice racing, ice car racing, and won a title three times. Anyway, he had a smooth, relaxed style behind the wheel, called Professor for his intellectual approach to competition. He was Alain Prost. Well, yes, he sorry, he's 67 years old today. He was born in France, and you know. Prost was married, having two sons, and Prost also has a daughter from another relationship. And Nikola raced in Formula E for four years. Anyway, Prost has three grandchildren. Anyway, so he was a he liked racing in carts. And then, you know, in 1980, he decided to race for McLaren. <clears throat> Started his career alongside Northern Irishman John Watson. He would finish sixth in Argentina, earning a point. He would add four more points scoring at Interlogical Spanish Hatch and Sandefort. Finished 15 for the Drivers' Championship, which isn't that bad. Pros would have a lot of accidents and all that. Including a couple of practice sessions in South Africa and Watkins Glen in the U.S. And couldn't compete in the Canadian events. <clears throat> Despite having two years left on his contract, he left McLaren and signed with Renault. And Pearl said that it was because the car didn't do so well and people blamed him for the accidents. So Pearl was partnered with the little Frenchman René Arnoul in Renault. Well, obviously Pearl was being French. Well, there was a lot of problems and all that. Despite that, he didn't finish the first two Grand Prix at Long Beach and Jer Jacarapuca, Mexico? Brazil. Okay, so Long Beach in Brazil. In Buenos Aires, he got into the podium. But he won the French Grand Prix, and it looked good for him. <clears throat> it changed his mindset. He won two more races during the season and ended up finishing fifth in the Drivers' Championship, seven back of Nelson Piquet. Prost would win the first few two, the first two Grand Prix in 1982 in South Africa. It, well, South Africa and Brazil, so he won it. Actually, he ended up finished third. In Brazil, Prost was, but it was a war of the win because PK and Rosberg, Kiki Rosberg, were disqualified. He didn't win again after those two races. He finished fourth in the Drivers' Championship. But his relationship with teammate Arnoux deteriorated after the French Grand Prix and all that. So anyway, 
Post still was at Renault as Arnu left, and Eddie Cheever, an American of all people, replaced him as Prost's partner because Renault wanted to sell more road cars in North America and th with three races out of 15 beat in North America. Prost would win four, four more races and finish second in the driver's championship, just missing out on Nelson Piquet. Prost was not happy that the team was too conservative in developing the Renault car and made him the scapegoat for not winning the title. All that. Renault then fired Prost two days after the South African race. Then we went back to McLaren. So Prost would join Nicky Lauda at McLaren and would lose the race by half a point to Lauda, his teammate. He won seven races. Prost won seven races in 1984 to Lauda's five. So Prost's seven wins in 84 was an F1 record. But in 1985, he bounced back and became the first French Formula One World Championship. He won five races. He had also won the San Marino Grand Prix, but DQ'd because his car was two kilograms underweight. So he was dominant in 1985. He won by 20 points. Anyway, McLaren lost Nicky Lada, who decided to retire for good at the end of 85. So Kiki Rosberg was moved up in 86. Ross defended his title, despite the fact that the Williams cars of Nelson Piquet and Nigel Mansell were coming in. It looked like Mansell was going to win the 1986 Australian Grand Prix and with it the title. Plus had the same number of wins as PK, but he had four second places to PK's third, putting him second before the race. He ended up, he was running third. Well, Nigel Mansell knew that he needed a top three finish. He was third place. He was in position, but Nigel Mansell suffered a rear tire failure at over 290 kilometers per hour or 180 miles per hour and crashed out. The great Murray Walker called, hey, look at that. And Mansell's tire puncture was huge and all that. Post didn't have to change his tires because he already pitted earlier and he won the championship. And begin the first back to back champions is Jack Brabham, 26 years prior. And then Rosberg retired, so there was Prost needed a new teammate, and he got underrated Swede Stefan Johansson, who was a decent IndyCar driver. I think he won a Toronto Grand Prix, if memory serves me right. In the IndyCar, but anyhow, things were changing and all that. He ended up fourth place in the 87 title. PK uh, Prost was behind PK Mansell and Ayrton Senna. So Prost didn't do so well. He looked pretty good and all that. Despite Nelson PK winning the Drivers' Championship and Williams winning the Constructors' Championship, Honda decided not to supply the team with their engines. So McLaren got the Honda engines instead of Williams. So anyway, Senna won the 1988 title despite Prost basically beating him a lot more. So Prost and Senna were teammates, which was weird. But Senna decided to be on McLaren, but Prost was the guy who got Senna onto Williams in the first place. And McLaren looked huge and all that. It was the battle. It was the battle royale. The Japanese Grand Prix was the second last race in the thing. At the end of lap 46, Senna and PK were chasing into lead, but Prost turned into the corner and actually turned into Senna's path, and there was a collision. Prost 
knew that his stall car wasn't going to help him. So he basically climbed out of his car. Anyway, Santa, Santa would bump start and drive through the chicane and rejoin the race. Shoot. Santa did win the race. However, because he missed the chicane, he was disqualified and Nanini won the race. McLaren was not happy and all that. So Prost got his third driver's championship in controversial circumstances, but you can't try to rejoin the race at a dangerous point and all that. Prost shocked a lot of people by deciding to go to Ferrari for the 1990 season. So anyway, it was huge and all that. So he went to Ferrari, I guess, because he didn't work well with Senna. So anyway, he replaced Gerhard Berger at Ferrari and was partnered with Nigel Mansell. Berger would then go to McLaren to take over Frost's seat. So it's kind of a trade, if you will. Frost would finish behind Senna for the 1990 title and all that. And Mansell left Ferrari because he couldn't deal with Prost to rejoin Williams. So Sean Lacey, fellow Frenchman, would join him at Ferrari. You know, it's kind of weird how Mansell was a Ferrari driver. I never would have guessed. Anyway, Prost could not win a race. And he took it out on the team and the car and was terminated. So Italy dumped him off before the final race. And it was Gianni Morbidelli who would replace him for that race. And then another Italian, Ivan Capelli, for the following season. Cross was actually given a payment for Ferrari not to drive for any other team. So basically he went on sabbatical. And Nigel Mansell won the driver's championship. Prost actually was going to join Mansell back in Williams, but because of that, Mansell said, screw that, I'm going to America in the kart series, or the Indy car series, if you will. Prost did not want Eric and Senna to join him, so Prost was part of Williams with test driver Damon Hill coming in to replace Ricardo Patrese. So that was huge. Prost and Damon Hill, a young Damon Hill. Prost would win the 93 title, facing challenges by Damon Hill and Senna. Senna decided, well, Senna was going to go join Williams for the upcoming season. So Prost decided to say, screw that, I'm going to retire. So he, it was amazing. <clears throat> Prost was given an OBE by the Queen, which was weird. So, anyway, everyone knows about the Prost Seta rivalry. I did a video about the Japanese Grand Prix, if my memory serves me right. So, yeah, those two were huge and all of that. However, despite Prost and Senna's problems, Prost was a pallbearer at Eric and Senna's funeral after his death at the Senna Grand Prix in 1994. Anyway. It was amazing and all of that. <laughs> Later in life, he would be punted in France. He would help the draw. He would get an F1 team. <clears throat> and all that. And not really a lot of people. Although they got he got fellow Frenchman Olivia Penny, Penny and John Alessi to join the team. Prost was out of business because of 30 million debts of $30 million. So anyway, it was amazing and all that, you know, winning a lot of F1 awards. A lot of people said he's the fourth greatest F1 driver of all time, but some say he's number one. I think Bill would probably, 
definitely say that he's one of the best, if not the best. But anyway, Alan Prowse, four titles. So, you can't beat that in the world of auto racing. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond, I do.